Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to view an exclusive listing in USJ5. It's a double story end lot and it's fully renovated and extended. It's a moving condition. Best part is it's freehold and located right smack in the middle of USJ, which is close by to the Taipan Business Center. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Chester Chang and this is my real estate channel. Let's go! It's like I'm losing my mind and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do to catch a break up? Now, before we begin and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to click on to the subscribe button. And also please click on to the bell icon so you won't miss all my future uploads. Now, welcome to the exclusive listing in USJ5. Now, this owner has done a major renovation back then before he moved in. He has already spent over time of about 400,000 in the span of 5 years. And these renovations come with the MPHA CCC. So if you are looking for a house that is ready to move in without much renovation, this will be a perfect choice for you. Now, as you know, lately because of inflation and also because of our ringgit has dropped so much and also the current world supply chain issue, the material cost for renovation has gone up the roof. In most cases, most of the contractor told me it's about 40 to 50% in terms of increment. So if you don't want to spend your hard cash money to renovate a house and don't want to wait for the time to renovate because this type of renovation, you have to go into the Pranchang and get the MPSJ approval and CCC which takes a long time, approximately up to 8 to 1 year. How I know it? Because I did that to my own house as well and it takes a long time just to get the approval and that doesn't include the renovation time itself. So this will be perfect if you want to move in immediately with your bags and your furniture and you don't have to wait while you are serving installment to renovate your house. This is pretty much a move-in condition. Now at the porch itself, the owner has fully tiled up this porch area. You can easily park two cars side by side. We have ample parking right opposite because it's facing a playground. On the side of this house, originally it has a 5 feet of side land but the owner decided to do away with that 5 feet and convert the entire space to the interior of the house. So instead of the usual 24 feet of this house, you get additional 5 feet which total up to 29 feet of width. So the build up of this house is significantly increased. Now this house is facing directly south and is very near to the MPSJ and also the Taipan Business Center. So let's come in and let's check out this house in USJ5. Now this is a very beautiful and renovated house. If you're looking to buy a house that is fully done up, this will be an ideal choice for you. This house has a width of 24 feet and the length of 75 feet. It originally have a side length of 5 feet right where I'm standing here. So the owner has extended this part and make use of this outdoor area and make it be part of the indoor. So you get a larger build up for the house. So you lose the outdoor 5 feet but you gain in terms of the internal build up. So this space, of course the owner has made it as a TV area to host their guests. Right in front of me, we have another sitting area. Now right at this corner here, the owner has dedicated this at their bar area and we have dedicated sofa just to enjoy some drinks here probably with the family and friends. We have a shoe rack here as well and you have lots of storage underneath here too. Owner has installed all the plaster ceiling and all the air cons are all included as part of the sale including the lightings as well. The owner has done extensive renovation to this house. In total, the owner has told me he has spent about 400000 to renovate this property here. Even the flooring is solid timber on the ground floor. Upstairs, the owner has done a lamination. Coming back to this portion here, we have another sitting area. Uh, this will be like a fireplace, a bit of an English style fireplace. And also we have this water feature, which is quite soothing and relaxing. If you sit here, enjoy a cup of coffee with your friends. Now, behind me will be the rooms and also the kitchen. So let's check out the rooms on the ground floor first. Now as for the ground floor room, as you can see, it is in size. You have a king size bed here. We have a big rest here and also the built-in wardrobe here. Plenty of storage space. We have a makeup table here as well. Now this ground floor room is perfect for your parents if they are staying with you. And maybe one day you decided to move from the master bedroom from the first floor down to the ground floor because you have a knee problem. This would be perfect for you. Or in the meantime, when you leave this room empty for your guests, if they're coming over to visit you, this will still be perfect. And right behind me, we have the ensuite bathroom which is quite large. What the owner has done also is house all the way up to the ceiling height. And also we have an exhaust fan here. 
Now let's check out the dining area and the kitchen. Come. Now this dining area, you can see you can fit in an eight-seater dining table. If you want to fit in a ten-seater, you still have ample space right here. On my left-hand side, we have a powder room, and behind me will be the kitchen. Now this kitchen also it has a sliding door here like this, so when you do heavy cooking. You can open and close as when you please. So this kitchen is of a decent size for a small or medium-sized family. All right on my left here, we have the laundry or the yard area. As for the kitchen, the owners has installed the kitchen cabinets on top here, and we have a concrete tile top here. Then at the bottom, we have more storages for you to put your plates and utensils. Of course, we have an electronic hood. And also we have a Rinai cooker. This is a gas cooker. This comes together as part of the sale of this house. Now I'm going to give a brief description about the locality of USJ Five. It has lots of school within close proximity. They have the primary and secondary school in USJ Two, secondary school in USJ Four. They have the primary and secondary school in USJ Twelve, and the primary school at USJ Six. As for Chinese school, they have one at USJ Fourteen, which is the Tun Tan Cheng Lok. And across the Kusas Highway, there's one more at SS19, which is Lake Hung. As for shopping malls and buying groceries, you have lots of choices to choose from. At USJ19, they have Digital Mall. At USJ21, the main place, and you have three shopping malls in USJ1 itself, which is the Submit, Diamond, and Maidin. Now across the SS Subang Jaya side, we have the Empire Shopping Gallery and the Subang Parade. And the convenience for highway accessibility, you have the Kusas Highway, the Elite Highway, and the Federal Highway. Taipan Business Center is just next to USJ Five. Over at Taipan Business Center, there is international banks, local banks. There is also many commercial shops, including like McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, and of course your favorite local coffee shop are there as well. There are also a couple of groceries and food shops around, and many marts as well, including the Family Mart and KK Mart. Now we're going to check out the upstairs, and before that, there's one small little storeroom right under the staircase. Come, let's follow me. Now this first floor we have a landing space here. It's like a small family area. Uh, right at this corner, probably you can put in some study table, or you want to have a nice sofa here with a TV set here. You also can do it. It has one large window here for ventilation and natural lighting. There's three rooms on this floor. Let's check out the two intermediate rooms facing the back first. Come now. This is one of the intermediate rooms for the back. We have a window here because this is the end lot. You get additional. Windows for natural lighting. Of course, we have another two windows here facing the back. Now, this space you can fit in a queen size bed and a small working table up here. We have a Jack and Jill bathroom, which is sharing together with the next room. Now, this room comes with aircon and it has a wardrobe up to the ceiling height. Total is six doors, so you have plenty of storage to store your items. Now, let's check out the other room. Now this room is similar in size as compared to the first room that I review. Only thing that you have windows at the back only, and also we have the same wardrobe with the same design up to the ceiling height. This space you can also fit a queen size bed without any issues. Now let's head into the master bedroom. Now we're going to check out the last room of this house, which is the master bedroom. Obviously, the master bedroom comes with the own ensuite bathroom, which is right on my right here. And behind me, this is the master bedroom, which is quite large in size. We have a king size bed, and still have ample room to move around. We have a four door up to the ceiling height wardrobe, which attached together and come with the seal of this house. Uh, right in front of me, we have a nice working table here with TV. Now the owner also has put two single seater sofa here, which you can see takes a bit of real estate, but you still have ample space for you to move around. Alright guys, that's the end of the house tour for the double story end lot in USJ5. And if you want to view that house, all your families or friends who are interested as well, do share my contact, which I'm going to link right at this corner here, and I'll be happy to show you around. And make sure to continue to watch more of my videos in Subang Jaya. I will link them at this corner here, up and down. Do check them out, and also do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll share them at this round box here. You see right here. Yes, do click them. You haven't subscribed. 
So that's the end of it. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.